Howdy, this is Chris Decato with another weird video, kind of upgrading an ancient device. Uh, I've been inspired and had a lot of fun over the last couple of uh, weeks upgrading a, an Amiga 3000, bringing it back to life. And I've been so inspired by this particular gizmo, it's actually this thing right here, kind of dangling by a cable. Uh, it's a SCSI to SD device, and it's super cool, and it really brought uh, Ray Brunel's old Amiga back to life. I was able to copy all these whole old hard drives onto an SD card, and, uh, and it works great. So I've been thinking about a solution to deal with my old Emu. This is an Emu 4XT Ultra that I don't think I've looked inside since I added the RAM to. I upgraded this from 64 megabytes to RAM of RAM to 128 back in like 2000 when I first got it, which I think is those guys right there. And I have not looked in it really since then. Uh, there's a lot of upgrades you can do to these boxes, but uh, that's the only one I ever did. And other than I added, uh, I had a, a G4 400 sawtooth that came with a 20 gigabyte hard drive. And I swapped out the 3.5 gig, gig IDE drive that came with this rig for the 20 back then, I don't know, in 2002 or something like that. And I've been waiting for it to die and I don't want that to happen. Because there's a lot of work that I've done that I've saved onto that drive, but it still spins up and it's been great to me. And I'm really thankful for that. <laughs> and what I want to do is back that stuff up. So I got one of these with a 16, 16 um, gigabyte uh, little SD card in there. Sorry it's so dark in here. And what's amazing is that... When I boot up, see if this does this. When I boot this guy up, it sees that device just plugged straight in. If I go here, so there's this guy here. And what I'm going to do right now is utilities. I'm going to format and there it is. So I'm going to goof around with this and see if I can copy my hard drive onto that and uh, I'll get back to you in just a few minutes. So last night as I was doing this copy, um, it actually crashed or got stuck. Um, on a certain bank about halfway through well maybe a little more like three quarters of the way through copying the whole drive and uh, and it um, kind of a hassle so I and I actually um, want to take a look here um, while I bumble a little bit uh, it's interesting because it's it doesn't didn't make sense to me and I, I tried it a couple of times overnight and uh, just to take a, a peek here and here it says so this is the the 20 gigabyte drive which formats out to says 19 it's using not quite 14 uh, and then here if I back out you can see here's the SD drive uh, which is a little more than 14, which so it kind of barely fit on there. Um, and I'm up to 11. So what I've, what I started doing was just kind of manually doing this. So it's kind of weird that it that it's, but I'm, you know, so whatever. I'm just kind of manually doing it, and so I'll show you the process. It's tedious. So I gotta so I go find this drive. I'm in this. Uh, this is the last folder, which is a huge folder. It's like uh, a gig and a half, uh, just with, of strings. 
And so here we go, we're gonna load this bank. So I'm loading banks and saving banks. And this one's 87 megabytes, it says. There's a bunch of them in here that are over 100 megs, but they're all in that kind of ballpark. And this is how it's going, kind of one bank at a time. So this is, I think, the third, the third bank out of 24 or 25. Yep. Chunka chunka. And then I go save. Find the SD drive. It goes in this cage strings, and here's the empty bank, and, yep. <laughs> uh, so I've been doing this for maybe, uh, I don't know, it's coming up on an hour, maybe, um, 45 minutes. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little while. But it seems to work. So I think once I'm done doing this, I think I can unplug that uh, that old IED drive and uh, and then we'll do some tests. All right, so this is basically the conclusion of my swapping out of this old hard drive to an SD card, which is on this thing. Sorry, it's so dark. Um, I still haven't mounted it in there, but uh, I'll do that. But I've got it booted right now um, without that hard drive plugged in. I just wanted to show that. Um, and uh, it, it seems like it worked out. I just kind of, you know, I went through and manually did the, the second half of um, the moves. So that guy there is that little, that little drive. And if I, um, you know, get info on it, it's... Uh, 91% full and uh, and everything seems to be you know in there um, these are all my these are all my folders everything's there um, there is an odd thing where this is the folder here CDs folder um, where um, this is the one that it would kind of tank on. Halfway through this, there was a there was a bank in there that it would that's where it would stop. And uh, all these other ones, if I get info on all these other banks, like this one says it's 361 megs. Um, the big one is uh, new work, where most of my work really happened in here, which is 1800. Megs. Um, I was thinking CD work would be uh, CD's folder would be similar to that, and it should be, but it says it's zero megabytes. Now, one thing that I've done is I copied from the hard drive over all those banks. It still shows up as zero, so that's weird. Um, and I, and because if I go in and look at some of the banks in here, it's clear that. I mean, they're not, uh, you know, that's 85 megs. Um, one of the big ones would be, this is the Avalon show. Oops. Where's my sticky button? That one's 97. Pretty sure that's what. And there was multiple copies of that Avalon show. Like, there's another one of those. Here's one. That one's 97 megs. Um... And there should be another. Here's Avalon 2. I think this is the was the final one, 101. So if each one of these, you know, not all these banks are that big, but like you know, I don't know how big this one is. That's 60. I mean, there there's definitely a gig of stuff in here. This is all the glass stuff. 30 megs. I don't understand quite why. And here's Mara's show. That's 120. So why it's showing zero, even on even on my uh, even on the 20 gig drive, that wasn't reporting correctly. That one said, um, if I if I got that, um, 
you know, info on that, on that folder, it wouldn't be zero, but it was only like 375 megs or something. It's, it was weird. So there's something funky about this particular folder full of banks, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but everything's in there and things are loading. And uh, just to kind of show you, it's a little slow, to be honest. Um, uh, what was the one I was just kind of, well, we'll maybe we'll open uh, this one so you can kind of take a look at that. So this is how slow it is. I was thinking that the SD card would load quicker, but I guess I've, I've looked around and some people are saying it's, it's about the same or slower than uh, than the hard drives, actual hard drives, which is, you know, here nor there, really. I just want to make sure that the stuff is safe, that it's not on a drive that's going to tank. You know, um, one thing that I did do is I, I took... Um, the SD card out and made an image on my computer that I have no idea how I would like copy it onto another SD card, a fresh card at this point, but at least I have it backed up. Um, my thought is to kind of plug the drive back in maybe and just do another one, just kind of do the whole thing over so I have two of them. But uh, for now, this is, this is fine and I'm going to figure out how to mount that little card in there and uh and probably close the box up but see how slow, like this is a big bank this is a hundred and hundred and two or hundred and four megabytes whatever it was and once we get there 85 percent 86 percent Anyways, yeah, so, you know, the font, the last bank that I had to copy across was all my, the, the Ken, I don't even know what his name was, the KH strings folder, which is like Keith Harbor or Keith Holberman or something. Um, and those are huge string patches, um, which this is one of them, I think. <laughs> So, but it's working. Um, here's the big box. There's that. And that's my, my roads. sounds um from that tour anyways so it's all in there it's all working and uh so cool i don't know if you have any questions leave a comment um i'm gonna post this maybe on the samplers on acid uh forum just so people can kind of take a look and see how it went there's other people that have definitely been doing this and it's a cool thing so you know, the little SCSI to SD card works. Uh, one quick thing that's really cool is with these, um, that you don't have to power it. Um, it. It's powered by the, um, it's powered by the SCSI bus. So you're just going to make sure that you plug it in the right way, which is with the red, uh, the red strip. So this one is not red and this one's red. If you can see it, I don't know if you can, uh, towards the face of the of the box. That's how all the other ones are in there. So, but yeah, it just works. So um, you don't need to worry about you know that whole thing with switching, switching the power back and forth or whatever. There was something about if you put in, uh, you know, the other cards or um, uh, IDE devices in there that to power them you have to swap the swap the pins around on the thing on the power cables or something and this you don't even have to power it so it's already done anyways that's it uh thanks for watching